Hello everyone, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video uh, we are going to have a look at the experiences in terms of career and relationship that your star sign is going to have throughout the upcoming week, uh, August 10th to uh, August 16th, 2020. <clears throat> and you are into Tarot, probably you do know that Tarot is divided by a major and minor arcana and arcana means knowledge, so anybody can learn um, to, to read Tarot. And uh, if you like the way I read and you want to learn it from me, uh, you can purchase the 12 hours tarot class uh, that uh, I'm offering. And in this class, uh, you are going to be introduced to a four card, very special to me spread because I do use it uh, in almost all of my professional uh, readings because it's amazing. <clears throat> and it's also a uh, major arcana friendly, meaning that you can use just only the uh, the major arcanas with it. Uh, so that spread, uh, that what comes with it, it is the explanation of all the major arcana in terms of all of the positions of the spread and in terms of career and relationship. So pretty much you do have it uh, all covered there. And on top of that, at the end of the class, uh, you are gonna get as well a one hour one-on-one -on -one class with me just so I can make sure that uh, you uh, digested all of the information and you are set to do your own personal and hopefully private readings. The links to the, the <clears throat> I'm sorry, the link to the class is uh, listed down below as well as a link to my website in case you do want to uh, purchase a, a personal uh, reading with me. So that being said, lay back and uh, enjoy the show. All right, so uh, let's see what Taurus are to experience in the upcoming week in terms of a uh, love and career. And the first thing that we are gonna look at, guys, is going to be your uh, love and relationship week. So let me shuffle the cards and uh, see what we got. All right, so the first one here is going to be the King of Pentacles. Uh, moving next, we do have the Wheel of Fortune, uh, followed by the Chariot card, and the last one that we do have for you, that is to be the Hangman. So that is going to be uh, quite of an interesting thing. Um, well, first of all, that we do have here is the Wheel of Fortune on the second position of this spread. And that's quite of a uh, quite of an interesting sign. Uh, it pretty much uh, urges you to keep up with uh, what you are already doing, and that is pretty much strengthened by the first card, which is the King of Pentacles. What I am trying to say here is that um, this thing gives a, a very um, loud answer to, for example, the question, should I stay or go? And those cards are telling you that you should stay for at least one more week, okay? Especially having as well the chariot on the third position of the spread pointing that this week itself, you and whomever you may have that question about are gonna place probably the final and the colossal efforts to make the things work in between one another, okay? Because with the first two cards, uh, that is pretty much that you have to maintain guard and do everything you can for your domain in terms of love. And uh, as well, if you are in a stage of looking for love, those cards are encouraging you to see if there is an, an opportunity around you, I mean already within your social circle, until you do um, rely or rather like resort to finding love elsewhere, for example, a, a dating apps, you know, or new social circles and uh, etc, etc. So uh, that being said, there are a few criteria, though, there are a few, how can I say, a conditions that needs to be kept. And the first condition here, it is, can you give what you get? Because the love, uh, as usual, but with, uh, with you, throughout the next week uh, with a full strength is going to be a game of giving and taking. And if you are to be given a, an attitude, you have to give that attitude back. If you are to be given attention, you have to give that attention back. If you are to be given an ignorance, then you have to give that ignorance back. Now you may think of, 
well, then if I give in ignorance back, how that is possibly supposed to save my relationship? Well, through the sense of miss, okay, maybe, you know, your partner will come to their senses when they start missing you. Uh, that's, that's an option, okay, and realize what their life is going to be without you. So, uh, you can't know the hidden purpose that it is behind it. It's just you can, you know, follow the signs and uh, give it a shot. But according to the cards, once again, in terms of your love, your love resides within you or around you at that particular stage. And even if it is a hard to grasp on, because it is a difficult to grasp on, uh, it is um, nonetheless there and it is worth fighting for it for at least one more week. Um, that being said, it doesn't look like that once you start doing it, uh, you are to second guess yourself. That comes with the chariot in the third position and it points that your determination and iron will to make the most out of your, for example, current relationship or the people that you can start dating within your social circle um, uh, amplified. Okay, so it's going to make that determination and that iron will amplify it. The good thing as well, it is uh, that you are to be recognized as a uh, person to be reckoned with in the sense of that a valuable partner, for example, a, someone who deserves attention, someone who deserves a reciprocal actions back. I mean, generally, you are going to reap the luck of your hard work to manifest your love and to manifest uh, your relationship skills, if you will, or your relationship attitude within the week that it is, that it is a coming. But you can't expect that it's going to come on its own accord, okay? It will require your own toils or your own manifestation before it can manifest itself further. And how the, uh, how the week ends here with the hangman? Well, the hangman it is not ideal card having it for relationship. It kind of, uh, what uh, the way I see revolving around it is that you are going to reach to a change, to a, not to change, but to a state, I'm sorry, within your, for example, current relationship where the things are going to get better, but they are not going to be uh, satisfiable enough, though you are going to know that at certain point, should you keep on working on them, they are going to become pleasable. And pretty much the hangman makes you being stuck with your current relationship or makes you being stuck with your um, uh, a person of interest that you may have within your social circle. But make no mistake, this is all about your choice. If you decide not to save your relationship, if you decide not to go for, your, uh, uh, for a person of interest that resides within your social circle, the hangman will still take place and is going to make you stuck being single. For how long? Well, we got to see with the further uh, further weeks. It could be for a short amount of time, but nonetheless, it will take place. So that being said, uh, Taurus, this was your a weekly tarot reading in terms of a career. And now let's have a look what, in terms of relationship, I'm sorry. Now, and now let's have a look what you are to experience in terms of a uh, career. Right, so the first one in terms of your career is going to be the uh, Temperance. Moving next, we do have the Ten of Cups, followed by uh, the uh, King of Swords. Uh, and the last one, we do have the Tower. So in terms of career, you will have to face rather kind of like unpleasant chores, if you will. Uh, that you are going to find yourself exactly pleased to perform under. Um, if I have to relate that to myself, I see it as a paperwork that nonetheless has to be done and uh, you will have to find the right means in order to do it. So uh, what I would say here is that you need to find the conditions throughout the week to make the unpleasant job ple uh, pleasable, or rather like pleasant, if you will, which is a... Um, quite possible in your particular case. And the way you do it is by understanding that uh, the job or a job that one may have, it's a coin with both its sides, you know, as entails. And you can't have one 
without the other. So while you may love your job, your job is accompanied with rather chores and those chores needs to be undertaken and that is the week where you have to do it. So uh, on another note, uh, those cards are very positive with, relationship, uh, with the business relationships. And that is especially if right now you are into argue of how to proceed with certain project. Or you do have an idea that uh, you may be kind of like afraid to share out because you may think that it's, you are going to become a, a subject of love, right? That is a very common. Well, that's not going to be the case in your particular case because with the temperance sitting on the very prime of the reading itself, this point that while your, your methods and your ways or rather like your ideas may not be accepted, they are to be respected, okay? And taken under consideration. So your idea may become plan B, plan C, maybe all the way to, to the plan Z, but it's not going to be laughed about and it's not going to be disregarded lightly. In fact, should you have any idea or a plan in terms of proceeding with your own personal business or with the business that you are working for, uh, that idea should be taking the time to be uh, analyzed carefully, can perform very effectively, okay, moving forward and actually can bring fortune to your business or as well to, uh, to the business that you're working for. And uh, at the end, uh, here actually we do have a very, very positive change with, uh, with the tower card itself, and that is change like a purge, right? So you are abandoning some kind of a uh, methods that under normal circumstances are making you feel comfortable. Again, if I have to relate that to me, although I'm not Taurus, uh, that is me purging my laziness, but you know, for you, for you, it could be something else. It could be, you know, purging the uh, the sense of uh, of competition. It could be as well purging the sense of jealousy, whatever. Uh, purging some kind of a sense is purging some kind of standpoints as well that are to transform you and, be, uh, and, and transform you, I'm sorry, for you so you can become a better worker or a better performer in general or a better CEO, for example, and so on and so forth. Now, the change itself goes under, once again, a uh, Tackling with chores, seeing that you know those chores needs to be undertaken by you. For if you want to get the job done well, you have to do it yourself at the end of the day. And um, while it not be that pleasant throughout the week itself, ultimately by the end is going to have a pleasant and uh, nurturing effect on you. Those that are jobless, um, I don't have much of a good news for them. It's pretty much the reading points that they have to start from somewhere, okay? So the first job comes about, you gotta take it. For it may not be the job you love, but you have to respect the fact that at least you are gonna have a job, okay? And then climb your way from there. So that being said, guys, this was your a weekly love and uh, career reading. Uh, hopefully, you do enjoy them and you do like them, Taurus, and uh, we may see each other next time. Until then, bye.